Welcome to Whiteboard Wednesday. My name is Mike Cromwell. I'm Brian DeVault. You know, what's Nirvana look like? Like if you've got a really great cybersecurity posture, like we talked about in the last few episodes mm -hmm. of Whiteboard Wednesday, and you're going to map your skill set, your sophistication, your protection as a business, where does it map against the hacker today? Well, I mean, ideally you would be, you know, almost right in line. Like this? Yeah. So that's great. If, if you're those companies that you talked about a scale of one to 10 or one today, and, and you're coming in as new executive, because typically if you're up to, if you've done your homework on this, but what happens if you're here and you want to get to there? If you watch our cybersecurity series on the, you know, the seven or eight tenants, I believe it is of cybersecurity, I mean, you've got to go at those areas one by one, right? You've got to start implementing, you know, and I think I outlined that security awareness training for end users was at the top of the list because that represents the highest risk, you know, in terms of the most basic, which ironically, right? A lot of the end user attacks, right? Or attempts, right? Are happening down here. Right, that's at the very basic skill level of a of what a would be hacker or bad actor would do, right? Those are like common sense att attempts. You know, if you think about applying that to the social engineering aspect, I mean, what if I just call into the help desk and say, "Hey, my name is CEO. I need my password reset." That's a good. You bring up a good point because these guys are going in here, but these guys are probably going to start testing there, right? So, I mean, I think what you get here is you get you know, the least complex attacks, right? But a higher volume. Correct. Right? Here, you've got more complex, lower volume, but probably if you apply a dollar factor here, it's probably something like that. But these guys also, though, are going to test every aspect of your business and look for the weakest spot. Is that a fair statement? But not necessarily. Okay. Because because these are all these are the, are more driven by goals and objectives, right? I think these are driven by uh, environmental awareness, right? Yeah. Them just seeing what they can do, what the capabilities are, almost dumb luck and common sense type. Where these are very calculated, right? Like their goal is to is to get into an energy pipeline and shut it down, right? Their goal is to get into the largest healthcare organization in the world and expose their you know their 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 people's personal information or their idea is to get into, you know, a major credit card, right. Right. And have the ability to, you know, to, to devastate someone financially and for their own personal gain. Right. Right. Uh, there've been a lot of notable attacks in the past year on MSPs, which certainly would make a net trio a target along with every other MSP in the country. In fact, that's been one of the uh, hottest verticals, what do you think is driving that? Is, is it the fact that it's an MSP and therefore they should have uh, you know, a, a pretty tight posture? Or is it driven you know, uh, through an agenda? Through an agenda. What do you think? Uh, I think most of the time it's an agenda. You know, I think it's sort of an attack from within in some, in some cases because you know, the, the thought in general is that an MSP or a technology service provider would have a good security posture. And so a successful infiltration of that would be that badge of honor that you right. talked about earlier. Yeah. Oh, I broke into a technology service provider. You know, I'm a regular badass, right? Yeah. And so there's some of that badge of honor. But the other thing to consider there, and the scary thing for MSPs and other service providers, is in many cases, you get into the service provider, you've broken into everybody underneath the service provider, right? So it's sort of the holy grail to say, especially with MSPs, because there's multi-tenancy there. Right. So if someone breaks into my network, they now have access to all my customers' network. So thanks for tuning in. We're gonna be over the course of the next few weeks talking about actions that you could take if you're an executive in a business, whether you're a CISO, a CEO, on the board, tactics and actions that you could take to both assess your current level of risk, as well as actions you can take to close the gap from being at high risk to lower risk and having a good cut posture in place. You bet. So we're gonna talk about business process, 
business procedure, discussions you should be having internally, and then hopefully we'll be able to get into some, some tactical tools and, uh, and some platforms that you can use to help increase your cybersecurity posture. And if you haven't already talked to an MSSP, reach out to Netrio. We are certainly here to help. And we can also walk you through what are the things you gotta look for if you're needing help today and you wanna enlist an MSSP. Um, objective uh, things that you ought to be looking for, tools that you can use to help assess your current level of risk. Absolutely. So thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for next week's Whiteboard Wednesday. Thanks. If you liked our episode today, click here to subscribe. And for other Netrio content, check out our channel.